Debs Taylor Hayhurst is the editor of The Woodpecker, which uh, covers, well, a, a, a big bit of ground, actually. We welcome uh, Debs to the program. H- how are you going, Debs? How are you handling the lockdown and all that sort of thing? Oh, kia ora, John. Uh, handling it quite well, actually. Good opportunity to catch up on all the jobs that need doing, I guess. Yeah, and you're operating out of, uh, what, the spare room, or, have you, or, or are you lucky enough as an editor of a publication to have your own study? Uh, well, I do have my own study. Uh, I have my own business as well. So really having my own office at home is essential. Yep, absolutely. The woodpecker, what, what areas does the woodpecker cover for those that don't know, Debs? Well, it covers Tuahiwi, Woodends, Pegasus, Waikuku Beach, and just recently we've included Ravenswood with all the new houses being built. Quite a big spread, really. How long have you been involved for, Debs? I've been involved for almost two years now and really been enjoying the the role. It's very new for me. I've never done an editor role of a publication ever. So certainly stepped out of my comfort zone to do it. Give us a look at the, an average day in Debs Taylor Hayhurst's life as the editor of The Woodpecker. What sort of things do you do? Well, the first thing I try and do is to keep all of the community and advertisers and potential advertisers interested. So I usually send an email out twice a month inviting people to share their news, their stories, successes, awards, anything that's going on in the community. And then when I have them all in my inbox, then I start inserting them into the InDesign template which I use to put the publication together. Okay, so pretty full on, in other words, Debs. This intrigues me. I had no idea, uh, and I'll let you deliver this, but how long has the woodpecker been going for now? Well, it's interesting you ask that question because I have to go and check this out myself. I know that we registered as a charity, as the Woodpecker Community Trust, in 2003, But when I asked some of our trustees, we found out that there was a single sheet of A4 paper printed on a Wood End School Gestetna 40 years ago, so back in November uh, 1981, which really surprised me. I hadn't appreciated it myself that it had been going as long as that. Great bit of technology, the old Gestetna. I used to operate one for the Whanganui Savings Bank. I used to print all their deposit and uh, withdrawal forms on a Gestetna. Sort of a, a sort of a drum thing from Mary. Man, it could spit them out too. I tell you, uh, Debs, they were they were pretty uh, pretty busy machines. In terms of the lockdown, um, are you still publishing? Yes, we are. So we publish every single month, barring January. And normally we deliver to 2,600 households across the areas that I've talked about. But because of lockdown and the restrictions and the fact our volunteer deliverers are usually 70 plus, we were unable to print and deliver. So we felt that if we carry on with the electronic or digital version, then we can at least give, make sure that that news does go out to as many people as possible. Okay, so how can people read uh, The Woodpecker at the, at the moment? So at the moment, I, I normally upload to various Facebook pages. So, for example, the Rangiora High Street, the Pegasus Facebook page, and other people will paste them into other Facebook groups. But the digital issue is uploaded onto something called issue.com, and that issue is spelt with two U's, so I-S-S-U-U dot com forward slash the woodpecker with a numerical four. Alternatively, if people want to email, I can send a digital copy to them. But any of those Facebook pages, people can get access to the digital copy. And I believe you've shared it on your Facebook page as well for us. Absolutely. That's our Steph in charge of all that sort of thing. She does a great job with our Facebook page. Debs, uh, great to know that you're in good heart and that the woodpecker, after, what, 40 years, is still in good heart too. Tough times, of course, um, but, uh, you know, we we struggle on through. And uh, do keep in touch. Debs Taylor Hayhurst, everybody, editor of The Woodpecker, and this is Compass FM.